Hey y'all, I really didn't realize that um, coming up, I kind of lived in the projects. I really did. Um, I grew up in Central Islip, New York, which is Suffolk County, New York, um, which is also Long Island. <laughs> There's a lot of names for it, but specifically um, Suffolk County. And um, I mean, we had fun. It was a lot of kids on the block. Um, we used to run up and down the boulevard. We used to play baseball on the corner of Boulevard and my block. It was a lot of kids. We used to get out there and put our little baseball team together. And we used to play. And it was fun. We used to play hide and seek all throughout the neighborhood. Nobody was getting snatched up. We were all making it home safely. Um, and we were out all day, all day long. Now, I'm going to show you um, the outskirts of where I live now and, um, where I actually live. I'm not going to show you my house, but I'm going to show you my neighborhood. I do live in the ghetto projects, whatever you want to call it. They're trying to build it up to make it look better, but I feel like they're putting clean things in the middle of a dirty place. And why I call it that is because it's like, you know, why I say that is because there's a lot of a lot of things that go into cleaning up a neighborhood and it's not just building new buildings, you know? And so it just, it still looks crazy to me, you know, because I'm from here and I know what it originally looks like and it still looks like that to me, just with new buildings and they're just making it more ghetto by allowing more space for more people to come and clutter this area so that they can lock more people up. I'm hip to the game. I know what it's about. Um, so stay tuned. So this area gets a lot of traffic, especially that place. And I don't know if I can zoom in. This is a bridge um, on Deer Park Avenue. And they're always, you know, this is Deer Park Avenue and Deer Park. You know, it's a lot of traffic that comes in and out of here. This is an infamous place where a lot of people come to get their liquor and stuff. And I ain't doing no promoting because I don't drink. But I'm just saying, you know, these people. They come in and out of here. They don't put money back into the community. You know. And this is also where my kids come to get their haircuts over here. So look at the sky, guys. Look at this area. It's the train tracks up there. You know, they just really don't do a good job of keeping the neighborhood clean at all. I'm gonna uh, when my kids get back in the car, I'm going to let you guys see more. Stay tuned. And as you can see, it's very busy over here. This is a light day. Okay, normally uh, the traffic is very heavy over here. Okay. It just never changes, you know, it just always looks dirty to me to me because I've seen better places, you know? I've lived in other parts of New York, like Long Beach, New York, which is beautiful. Um, and, you know, CI even looks better than this. Not Coney Island, but Central Islip, New York, so. Um, but yeah, and this is Deer Park. Uh, but don't get it twisted because deep in Deer Park, there are a lot of nice neighborhoods like there's mansions people spend money on their homes but they don't want you to know that but i learned doing instacart that there are secret neighborhoods and within these neighborhoods and on the outside of the neighborhoods they put in um they put the cheap looking houses and they don't keep up with the houses the houses look crazy they look really bad and it makes you not want to move over here, but you have to do your homework. See that? You have to do your homework and look around, dig deep, because there are some really nice secluded neighborhoods over here. 
Okay. Come on. connected on to these projects they try to make it seem like it's easy access so this is where a lot of homeless people hang out at they put the little ice skating ring in here right there it's all lit up it's a 7-eleven it's a lot of stores and stuff over there supposed to be low income housing but it costs like 1700 to get a studio if they even offer studios and then it's higher from there one bedroom apartment costing you 22 to 2500 a month and it's and then right across the street is the hood okay it continues on it's building it up more room for people to come and hang out Welcome to the hood, guys. Look at this. This is the hood. People walk the streets. This is Wine Dance, New York. They call it Crime Dance. There's a lot of crime in here. Some people keep up with their houses. 